Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is an example of a polymer compound. All right, so a polymer is really any molecule or compound that exists of many repeating little units. So think of it as like a building made entirely of bricks. The building is the polymer and the brick is the individual unit. So let's take a look at a really common polymer. Uh, it's actually called Teflon. And so Teflon consists of a repeating unit of a carbon bonded to one other carbon and then every other attachment is a fluorine. And so we put a little N down here to show that it's repeating. And so if we looked at uh, Teflon, this is all it is. It would just be a super long carbon chain and it would just you know keep on going. So we use a little parentheses to show it's repeating. And then every single thing would be a fluorine. I'm not gonna draw them all out, but you get the picture. So the way that a polymer is synthesized is by a polymerization reaction. So in Teflon's case, by the way, Teflon could be found on nonstick pans and some kind of tape, so it's very useful. You've probably used Teflon in your life. Uh, the first repeating unit is this guy. So it's double bonded carbon and it has attached to two fluorines. And so the way that uh, polymerization reactions uh, start is by some kind of initiator. And then all of these double bonds will be used to attach themselves to the next unit. Uh, and there's actually a bunch of different types of polymerization reactions. So there's ones that use radicals, there's ones that use anions, um, and these all connect and then eventually they form this polymer. I'm Robin Higgins and this has been an example of a polymer molecule.